Hello there and welcome to the Mobile Academy and if you want to become a job ready Flutter developer make sure to check out the courses on my website mobileacademy.io here you will find all of the courses related to the Flutter development you will find the professional course as well as the basic course related to the Flutter you can also find some of the uh, free courses over here if you want to just go and try it out or if you are just a beginner on the Flutter and then the React Native you can also find the free course over here and if you would like to be a full stack developer we also have the course related to the full stack developer related to the uh, node.js express mongodb as well as the flutter over here and if you would like to join the uh, flutter bootcamp there is also a bootcamp course over here so make sure to go and check out the course over here there are free and then they paid codes and if you want to be a job ready flutter developer this is the course that you would want to take so see you guys on the next lesson till then have a great day yeah hello there and welcome back and let us continue with our lesson and in the previous lesson we learned about the async notifier and the async notifier provider over here and in this particular lesson we are going to learn about the uh, catching mechanism that is implemented in the uh, river pod itself if you have read the documentation you know that the uh, river pod each uh, catching a uh, reactive catching and a data binding library right so what does the catching has to do over here so let us get started and let's let us try to understand over here so for that i have created one uh, for this particular demo i have already created one screen so i can navigate to that particular user screen that i have added over here a simple screen so what we have to do is we just need to add in some text over here and add the user and it should so over here and we should navigate back to this particular account on the screen that we have previously created so for that what i have created is i have a simple uh, ui created already nothing complex over here so let's go and create one more uh, provider over here let's call this one as a user uh, noti if I user notifier the provider dot the dot file let's create the class over here and user notifier and I guess that should be uh, extend ext extends from our notifier so we are just going to use a simple notifier and here the type currently we don't have any um, the custom class over here custom state class Let's just provide the a string over here and let us go and override the build method uh, that is going to return us let's say a uh, empty string by default or let's just uh, say uh, that's over here and let's go and add the one more functionality over here let's just go and set the update the string value or update and we are just going to set the state of the value that we are providing us uh, just a simple uh, notifier or the notifier over here and i hope you should be able to already do this one because we have created already couples of the provider already and let's go and create the uh, user notifier provider over here that gives us the uh, providers the notifier uh, the use uh, sorry the notifier provider and we have to provide the the generic type of the the notifier class which is of the user notifier and then the string and that's going to return us the the instance of this particular user notifier so that's cool so let's go back to our user screen now what we have to do is for this particular user i just have to ref dot the watch uh sorry ref dot uh, the watch and let's just go and watch the uh, user notifier so let's go and say this one as the let's just make this one like the cons i guess we'll make this one as the final and let's just go and import the uh user notifier provider that we have let's just go and import that one so now we have the user and let's just go and update this one so in the on press of this particular button so let's go over here and once we add the user it should update the user and we should see the updated user over here so for that let's just go and say the ref dot the uh, read over here right and the provider will be of the user uh, notifier provider that we have 
and then the notifier itself and then the update and we are going to send the user controller that the text over here so whatever text we have over here we are going to send it over there so let's just go and um, hard to reload and let's try to add some name over here let's just go and say the test over here and now you can see that we got the test over here let's say i want to say uh, rshar the richard over here and let's just add and you can see that we got that particular name over here and now we are coming back to the our previous screen and let's go back to the user and now you will see that particular the uh, the previous value is still cached over here so this is the cached version of our the user provider that we have so this particular provider is actually cached and uh, it's the the data that it holds is not like the cleared or the disposed right so if i go back from here and if i go back to user again we'll see that the same um the value that we previously added is still uh, persist in the catch version of that particular provider that we have right so that is a good thing right so it is catching our data but sometimes it's also not the good thing so sometimes you don't want to happen this kind of the um, like you don't want to cast the data once you navigate back to the previous uh, screen right so how we can um, go and clear out that one right so how we can uh, dispose the state that we have over here so for that what we have to do over here is to make use of the auto dispose notifier itself and also we need to add the auto dispose over here as well auto dispose notifier provider and then the auto dispose notifier over here as well so let me just go and reload the application and let's go to the user and let's just go and add the something like a simple let's say a d and now we got that the d and let's go back and let's go to the user now you can see that the this particular the notifier provider is disposed already or the provider is disposed already right so this means that the the data is cleared and if i say something like oh let's see a richard over here and add that one and if i go back over here and i go back to that particular screen again you will see that the data is cleared so with the help of the auto dispose what it does is if no one particularly is watching this particular provider so let's say we are watching in this particular uh, user screen so once the user screen is there that means that we are watching it over here right the build method is active and once we go back to our previous screen that the screen over here is disposed already which basically means that now our the user notifier should be also disposed if we make use of this particular uh, auto dispose notifier over here so let's just go and add the uh, dispose uh, method over here and i need to dispose actually the the controller uh, i actually forgot that one and i'll also go and debug print uh, something over here so let's just go and print the debug so let's say i'll just call this one as sorry for that it should be of the dispose over here so let's just go and remove that and let's see a user screen is disposed so let me just restart the application let's go back over here let's add some value over here and let's just go back over here and now you can see that this screen is disposed and as long as there is no uh, watcher or the listener for this particular uh, provider then it should be disposed so if i go and copy the same thing over here and if i go back to the my counter screen and uh, let me just go and watch it over here and let me just import that one over here uh, let's just go and import that and if i just go and reload the application now that should not be disposed because okay so we got some error so it should be of the uh, final over here let's just go and reload our screen over here and let's go to the user and let's just go and add some value add that one go back 
and you see the user screen is disposed already but this counter screen hasn't been disposed so let's go and you will see the same value so that is the case so as long as there is someone is watching that particular uh, provider it's not going to get disposed and if there is no one is watching or listening to that particular provider it will get disposed right so i hope you got the idea when it is getting disposed and when it is not getting disposed so to dispose it there should there should not be anyone watching it or listening to it right so if nobody is watching or listening to it then it get disposed and from here let's just go and remove this one because that is not we want to do over here and let me also clear it out this one from here and let's go and re rerun the application and now let's go back to the user let's add some value over here and if i come back again and go to there that should be disposed already that's pretty cool and now let's go back to our uh, provider over here and now let's say that after um, five seconds i want to dispose it but within that five second i want to cache that particular data let's say i want to cache it for a one minute or a 30 second right so you want to catch some you want to add some the logic like uh, after 10 seconds then dispose that particular uh, provider if nobody is watching if there is no one watching for that particular provider within that particular 10 second then only go and dispose so i think you got the idea so uh, let's try to add some value and i will go back and if i go back over here within that 10 second it should not dispose so let's try to implement that particular logic over here uh, we will go to our build method over here and final i will just get a final value over here that will be of the uh, let's call this one as a keep alive over here and we should access the uh, keep alive from the ref dot the keep alive over here and using this particular keep alive uh, we can actually go and let's just go and add the ref dot the dispose over here okay so sometimes this particular ai tool is a bit annoying sorry for that it should be actually ref dot the uh, dispose over here and we need to provide the callback and in this particular callback what we can do is let's just close it we also require one timer so timer over here and timer will be of let's say uh, timer and let's just make this one as the uh, null level over here and now in uh, once we call this particular dispose and we are going to call the uh, timer if not null then just go and cancel this particular timer over here right and once we cancel this one okay that should clear out our timer and the next option will be on the on cancel over here so not sorry ref dot ref has the on cancel itself so all of these are coming from our notifier so let's just go and call in in the ref you have the on cancel or on this dispose on uh, resume on remove listener or these are the some of the uh, methods that you can actually make use so let's just make use of the on cancel so if somebody cancel that particular uh, let's say uh, our provider so let's just go and um here i'll just go and set the timer over here timer which is of equals to the uh timer over here and in the duration let's just go and const of the uh duration over here uh, let's say I want to catch it for the 10 second over here and in the callback let's just go and add some uh, callback over here let's just go and add some callback over here okay so I guess that is some error over here and let's just go and close this one over here and within this callback what we'll do is uh, keep alive that we have dot the uh, close so now we can actually go and close that one over here so if you take a look to this particular release the keep alive link allow allowing the associate provider to be disposed if the provider is no longer listener uh, or nor has any remaining keep alive link so which basically means that now the dispose method can be called otherwise it's not going to get called this particular dispose method within this particular um the 10 second so if you say uh, if you say 
keep alive that close now it is ready to be disposed over here and finally if the on resume is called so that will be of the ref dot the on uh, sorry uh, ref dot the on on resume right so on resume also has the callback and with this callback i can just go and say the timer that we have if not null then also go and cancel this one so let's just go and close it over here so the if somebody if i go back and if i come back that means the uh, the provider is resumed already that means just go and cancel the timer again so let's try to go and uh, restart our application and let's try to so let's just go and say i uh, uh, i want to say something like uh, richard over here add this one and now if i go back and if i come back again that should not be disposed right this is the 10 second time frame that we have given and let's just wait for a uh, 10 seconds so let's say one two three four five six seven eight nine ten and let's go to the user again now you will see that got that get disposed or the the cache data is cleared or the our state in our this particular user notifier has been cleared out and what you can also do is if you want to know when this particular method are called so i'll just go and say the deb debug print over here so the e p u g debug print over here p r i n t and then i'll just go and call this one as the something like the uh, user notifier disposed and let's just go and copy this one and here we'll just call this one and this one is on the dispose on resumed is called and on cancelled each called as a called over here and now i'll just go and say the uh, sorry for that i'll just copy this one and i'll just copy and after we have this we say the on cancelled this should be of the on cancelled is called and this one should be of the uh, user notify is cancelled already so now let's try to go and reload the application and let's try to see when are this particular method called over here so let's try to add some uh, simple name over here let's add the user and once we add the user let's go back and now you can see that our notifier on cancel has been called let's go back on resume has been called right and uh, let's just go back again and wait for the 10 second over here so after 10 seconds you will see that the on this post should be called over here let's wait for the 10 second over here so now you can see that the on cancelled is called so we are here and then the on cancel so now which means that this has been called already keep alive close has been called already so now it is ready to get disposed over here so now we'll see that the notifier has been disposed already so i hope you got the idea how to implement the catching mechanism so you can also customize like how many seconds or how many minutes that you want to cast data it is really helpful once you are building uh, some kind of the real uh, wall application right so in my application uh, we are or uh, we are always using this particular catching mechanism like uh, how many seconds you want to cast that particular data instead of uh, refetching every time right uh, if the user visits that particular same page within that particular uh, time frame you don't want to um, reface the data from api or the database so it will help you to save some kind of some um the um like the resource right and that's quite useful so try it out in your application and try to implement um, in your own and see how it works and also go and read the documentation about all of the stuff like the uh, on dispose on cancel on resume there are also like the the on on listener right if you go and see that ref dot and you have the on something like when the listener is added when the listener is removed and you have a lot of other functions that you have actually right 
uh, slowly we'll go and see some of those but i will recommend you to go and read the documentation if you want to learn more about it and because you know that in the video uh, i cannot cover everything right so you don't you cannot expect me to cover each and every topic over here the best place for that one is to go and read the documentation so that's all for this particular lesson so in this lesson we implemented the auto dispose notifier and uh, we also implemented the catching mechanism over here and how we can customize that one and we also saw how the ribopod internal caching works over here so that's all for this lesson and uh, we will meet up in the next one till then have a great day